Oh, good evening and welcome to the All Things Borough podcast, uh, uh, the official uh, podcast of Farnborough Football Club. This podcast is sponsored by Tratech Consulting. Tratech takes your business visions and turns them into innovative reality. I'm Alan, as usual, and I'm joined by Simon and Tom, who's been uh, sort of here and there uh, the last few weeks with us because of work. But welcome, lads. How, how are we this evening? Where are we this evening? Where are you, Tom, this evening? Are you, are you in Farnborough? Farnborough. Yeah, I'm not, not back in Bournemouth for quite a while, probably for like October time. So hopefully I'm going to get a lot of games in the start of the season. Yeah, um, yeah just been a lot of work, quite tired, making my money. Uh, it is really. Not not yep. too much, just, just enjoying seeing all the announcements recently as well. It's been really nice. Yeah, no, it's been really good. Yeah, that's why we're here. That's why we're on, on doing this uh, uh, quick episode as well. Simon, how are you? You've been at the game today? Yeah, not bad. I just says, hey, is Tom not in LA on some porn shoot? <laughs> <laughs> I did say to I did say to him before before you came on that he, he and he googled it as well. He does look like he does look quite like a weird Al Yank an old weird weird Al Yankovic. Not I can't. Dick, that's not his real name, is it? Like, his actual yeah. name is weird. Dick, Dick, well, no, no, his, name, his actual name's not weird, Tom. His name is Al Yankovic. <laughs> Everyone Never called said. him weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, you wouldn't thank your parents for that name, would you? Crikey, what are you calling me weird for? <laughs> get that, get that name straight away. He'd suit it. He'd absolutely suit it. He was a he was he was a musician. He did like funny funny takes on 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 various songs of the of the of the era when 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 he was uh, around. So, Fair enough. I think he's like a radio DJ as well. He's probably about thirty years before my time. There you go. So, so not, a bit not, more your guys. Not only is this podcast, you know, um, a wonderful insight into the world of non-league football, it's also an educational experience. So uh, yeah, yeah. for all our, for all our young young viewers. If yeah, you've got exactly, a pub yeah. quiz next week, you're you're smiling. <laughs> right, yeah, I, yeah. I will try. We'll try, yeah. we'll try and get a few more in. Like you know, what's the uh, what what do you call the uh, the art the art of uh, of of uh, recording flags? You know, sort of vex, vex, um, vexology. Vexology. Uh, yeah, you're now you're now losing the young the young audience, Simon. Now these are important. These are important uh, life items. No, like, no, no. Uh, well, yeah. So anyway, back to your original question. I'm I'm at home and uh, I've got just got back from the game. Uh, today against Maidenhead. It's been a good day for you. We'll t- we'll touch on it a bit later, but it's been a good yeah. day for you. You've done really well for the podcast today. All the <laughs> videos that you've been putting through, we've been putting yeah. out on socials. It's the last. It's the last time I do anything as well. So don't. don't it's about the time you start pulling your weight. It's never I'm, worked. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> He's never worked so hard in his life, and he doesn't even get paid for this. <laughs> no, no. I asked for I asked for so many interviews. They chucked me out at the end. So listen, mate, just can you can you bugger <laughs> off? We're closing up. We're trying to close here, and you're still wondering about. Aimlessly. Well, it's it's a good part of, the, of of what we're trying to do uh, with this podcast with the club. Uh, like I said at the top of the top of the show, we are the club's official sponsor, uh, official podcast. Um, so this is kind of things that we wanna we wanna do with with the club and the players that are part that are part of it. Um, so you yeah, so you were half right there. What you said. We 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 are the official podcasters, but also we are uh, sponsored by the club official sponsor. So, uh, yes, you know, we are, yeah. you know, so yeah. you were, so you were yeah. quite right. There. It's, all, it's all, it's all wrapped up in one tick, nice, tick, is, nice is. tight little ball. Yeah, one nice little family. Yeah, basically, yeah. It's until Matt, Matt decides he rather wants to Southampton, and we're all, we're all doomed. Well, yeah, I think he needs a bit more money for that, though, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, now they're in the Premier League, yeah, definitely, definitely yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah. Championship was achieved. Yeah. We'd like, like, like to say a quick hello to Matt. Hello, Matt. Uh, he's in Scotland. Yes, at the good moment, evening, Matt. So, uh, Wherever you are, um, he's in Scotland. Is he? Yeah, yeah, I'll be on neck of the woods now. Your homeland, <laughs> my homeland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Craig, uh, Craig, Craig, the uh, women's manager, will be here. Will be happy to hear me say that. Uh, but I'm, I'm coming. I'm, call, I'm doing this from. Um, I'm on holiday, as, as, as you, as you both know. I'm in Paul. Um, at my family's caravan uh, camp. Well, well, it's more like a flat, really, as you guys have uh, witnessed. Um, you do, Tom, you do you realize can, that. Tom, you're if you can people... still remember what the place looks like, Tom. I can't say, I'm especially about my glasses that night. I can't say I did. Yeah, are they still on that A road where you, where they fell off your head? Probably. Uh, they probably are. They're probably smashed in the bushes somewhere. Yeah, we should we should we should really tell the story about to our, our uh, loyal loyal viewers that. Uh, uh, yeah. oh, no, nah, we're, we're all right. We're all right. No, I think this, I, I, this was I this we'll was save... the way. No, it's too late. I've started. I'll finish. No, uh, no, no. I think yeah. we'll save we'll save it for uh, <laughs> for if anybody wants to ask off the podcast. Well, next time we're at the club, if they want to ask what happened to Tom's glasses while well, we were down at Weymouth. Watching them at Weymouth, yeah. then they can ask him off. The, yeah, off, tell off you what, the yeah. Any anyone, uh, anyone at the Torquay game, actually, yeah. But can, can you approach myself, Alan or, or Tom at the game? You're very welcome. Come and approach him and ask him exactly what happened to Tom's glasses. Uh, <laughs> and it will, will, uh, we'll, anyway. we'll, we'll tell the story. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so we're doing this uh, a special short episode uh, because we're going to talk about 
um, the latest. Uh, obviously, we're going to talk about the game that you was at today, Simon. Uh, but we're also going to talk about the latest uh, signings that have happened over the last few days. Um, and also, this is obviously a good time, first time in a while that all three of us have been on a yeah. been on an episode. So obviously, so um, so it's good to catch up with you guys. Um, but yeah, so first of all, uh, so it was Thursday was the first one, wasn't it? No, Wednesday was the first one. Yeah. Yeah. So Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday. So Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Wednesday was the first one, which was, um, I believe, was um, Daniel Dan Bradshaw. Bradshaw. Um, so right. what uh, we, we 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 I mean, me and Simon saw uh, sort of one half of him. He played one half against Sutton uh, when he came on for the injured Ben Mason, uh, and we thought he played quite well. We thought he did all right, and um, he seemed to be what I was hearing seemed to be. Uh, well, quite well like well liked by some of the other fans of the club as well over the over the the friendlies that he has been part of. Uh, but what do, what do you guys think about him? I think I saw him play a full ninety at Haven away, and he 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 didn't look uncomfortable at all. He he just he he looked very comfortable on the ball. He didn't have any trouble. He looked very natural at right back. Even though I don't think it's really his predominant position. Um, yeah, he looked like he'd been playing in this team for the whole like last season. Um, I could see he was a very popular sort of trialist, and I can see mm. why a lot of uh, Farnborough fans were very happy when, and including myself, when it was put over the line. Especially after Ben Mason's going to be out for several months, I think that is. Uh, but it, having him is it makes it feel like less of a loss, and it's going to make it feel more like a new sign in Ben's back. I think. Um, yeah. I think it's. I think he's really good. I think it's just. I mean, I don't know what they would have been thinking if we didn't sign him. I don't think we had, I don't think we've had a try this that sort of promising for a very long time, apart from maybe the, the Albanian number eight, but I'm sure we'll get to him, whoever he was. Um, but yeah, I'm, I was, I'm very happy with him. I think it's right back to him, really. I don't see, he can't, I know, I'm sure he can play uh, DM as well, I've heard, but. I don't see us putting us anywhere else other than right back. I think, back. I think he, he he's obviously primarily he's going to be a right back, but I think from what we saw against Sutton, he played sort of the wing back role when he came on for Mason, and he did quite well. And I think you can all, you can almost say like all fullbacks are pretty much wing backs anyway. The amount of times fullbacks get forward anyway, they're they're they're, they're pretty much they're, they're basically wing backs in anyway in a back four, whether they're a back four or a back three, because they're always going forwards and putting getting crosses in and and sometimes getting shots in. Uh, Simon, what do you think? Uh, yeah, he's um he's done quite well. Uh, he's he's uh, he's earned his he's earned his deal basically. Yeah, really. absolutely. Um, and uh, but I know that um I've got a bit of an update on Ben Mason actually from today's game. Um, having spoke to, spoken to the uh, Farmers number one gaffer, uh, before the match. Um, but we'll come to that. Um, and uh, yeah, he's 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 done well. He, he is a right back. Uh, Spencer wasn't actually that keen on him. Uh, before the before the oval game, but I think having when he played in the oval game, he actually he excelled himself really. And I think that changed Spencer's mind. And thought, you know what, actually this guy's. Oh, right, really, and it was actually the, the having game as well. That game, and then the oval game yeah. were two really good. Well, it's like you said, he's earned, he's over the over the, the friendlies that he has played in. Yeah, yeah, he has. He, yeah. He's earned that contract. So he's yeah, and he, he, he um he is he is necessarily right back. But the only yeah. the only concern the area concern Spencer actually had was that could he play could he play as a wing back? And Spencer didn't mm. really think he could, but I think actually he might have uh, he might have sold him on that one now as well. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I know, I know, yeah. uh, I know. We're looking to sort of flick flick. You, you're going to throughout the course of the season, we are going to have to between playing a four and a three at certain times. Mm. There's a lot of teams mm. in our league play three at the back, so we need to try and match yeah. them up and get the numbers in midfield. Yeah. Um but you could you mean you could you could do that as a as a four a four five one if yeah. you wanted to. But then that does yeah, leave you all know. quite isolated. But I think Spencer wants to play a three at times so he's gonna have to uh tuck in or sort of go go out as a as a what as a wing back uh, if yeah. needed. Um Obviously, you got you got Reggie. You can play out there as well on on sufferance. He's done it. I no, I don't there. think that should be an option at all. No, it shouldn't be. He doesn't want to play there. No, no it, should, but... it won't. Especially now we've got Chin. Chin can play there. Brad should yeah. play there. Mason yeah. play there. That should be the end of Reggie Young. Anywhere near the defence, he's a he's a, an attacker. He's been he's whenever he actually gets the freedom to attack, he's been one of our best attackers. I think mm. you highlight Averley at home last season, the three-one win. He scored and won a penalty inside 10 minutes yeah. two separate yeah. things like yeah. i don't think i don't think that should even be a four this season and if no, it is 100%. then there needs to be questions raised yeah well we're definitely a better team when reggie's further forward i think no no nobody, nobody would nobody would, uh, nobody would uh, con uh, contradict that i don't think so uh, yeah agree with you there first first time in the podcast we've uh, unanimously agreed on something <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, starts we need to go on this season yeah 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a new podcast, a new podcast. <laughs> um, right, yeah. So obviously, uh, the fans are obviously happy with it with the with this signing. It's uh, like you said, Simon. He, he's earned his deal um, yeah. over the coming over the last few weeks, um, which you don't always get to say about players because sometimes players. Um, don't walk into clubs and, and get the deals, but so there are players. Sometimes players come to clubs and you know they're going to get a deal. Yeah, they get a deal for reputation bit, alone. People were a bit unsure, but they, they, he's earned it. They get it. Yeah, they get it through their reputation alone. Like like yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. That we signed um, at the beginning of last season. We had we had yeah. people like you know Ryan Upwood. I, I didn't use up Ryan as a as a as a scapegoat or or, or, or example. He's just an example. Um, and he he sort of got in the team because it was from his previous exploits, and he he didn't really. Do the do the, do the business for us last year, and then it was ended up leaving. Um, but some um, he's I mean, he's at, he was at Beaconsfield last year in step three. I mean, yeah. since since he signed, I mean, John Underwood who, who used to uh, who was in, in charge of him, he's done very really well. I um, mean, yeah. I think obviously there's been a bit of a uh, bit of help uh, with the deal with with Neil Baker being at Farnborough. Uh, obviously, John and John and Neil work together um, at Slough, so they obviously know each other, and he, he's got some contact there. So and he's brought him in, and yeah, and even he said he's he's worked really well. He's a really good good player, willing to, willing to. Uh, Wants to learn, willing to improve. Um, so yeah, they're all the things you want to do. And he's he's also like like most of the team actually. I'll come on, come on, we'll come on to later. He's he taught he he says the right things as well and does the right things. So yeah, it's good, yeah. good signing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was, that was Wednesday's one. Yeah. So uh, Thursday, I believe this was um was this Richard was this Chin? Chin? Yeah. yeah. So Thursday it was Richard Chin, which was I think was a. Uh, one that came a bit out of the blue because I don't I don't, I don't really know didn't really know who he was um I don't think he was really was he was he part of any of the was he a trialist at any point this, no he, he was out of the blue he's been trialed for uh, clubs like he trialed for Ebsley and Hartlepool mm -hmm. uh, at this point this season so he's clearly been a national league target so in a lot of discourse from sort of like journalist types on Twitter the, mm. I've seen it labelled as signing of the summer in the in the national league mm. south so I think it's sort of testament to it the how big it is and I think everyone who saw him play today probably going back to that from what I've heard. Uh, I think I, I had heard of him and I remember when I was at work and I saw it pop up on my phone, I my jaw was dropped because I, I knew of him. I knew of him from the Charlton Academy and how sort of I mean he, he was pretty much first team player, like squad member there. It was never the the first name on the team sheet. And then also from the fact he spent time on loan at Bath and Dartford last year really put him in uh, really put him in good sort of uh, uh, what's the word? Put him in a good work, like position in this league to be as a known player and a lot uh, more. Put, really him in, put him in the shop window. I think you mean, Tom. I'd suppose for the national league, you could say that, yeah. But um, uh, so it's really is a bit of a coup, I think. But having I think for a player, player, a player like a player like him, he can play in multiple positions as well. It yeah, seems, I was going to mention uh, which is a big, big plus for for us. And anyone in, in this league can't be yeah. sort of underestimated at all. No, and I mean, I think you you can play DM, but maybe further forward in the midfield. Obviously, played in the front three today. I think the right side specifically, and he's known to be both sides of fullback and obviously wing back. Apparently, I heard somebody say he's a he's like a modern, very most modern era sort of new right wing back they've ever seen on a description on Twitter, which I thought was. Exciting, I think, and it shows we are absolutely going for the right kind of player, and it's no, exactly, yeah. hugely ambitious. I'm really, really excited to have him here, and it was an uh, an interesting one to know. I think he's, I, th I think he's been a Malaysian international before. I couldn't find anything, but it's, I've read somewhere it said that. So it's another sort of interesting thing to part of the squad. More players from around the world, you know, Malaysia. Yeah. You've got Albania with uh, another signing we've made. That number eight trial yeah, we'll is never played before. But um, yeah, I really think I'm really, really chuffed with Chin. I think he's really exciting to have. What did you What did you think of Chin today? Because you you was at the game, obviously. Without saying, and you spoke to him as, as well today. Um, what did you think to him? Well, well, I'm going to try try not to use too many puns about Chins, but you know, a strong strong Chin, I'd say, is probably the best I can come up with. Um, but um, yeah, uh, yeah, granite Chin. No, that's enough. Uh, yeah, so yeah, he did, he did, he did well. <laughs> awful. <laughs> he did well. Um, yeah, he's, he uh, he's obviously started number seven. He played there. He actually played right wing because uh, Sam Smart wasn't uh, wasn't feeling very well today. So he didn't. That's why Sam wasn't in the starting lineup. Um, for some reason, he just felt felt ill this morning, so they decided to give him a rest. Um, so he actually played right. It wasn't it wasn't the actual um, idea to play him out there, but he played uh, played as a right winger. But he cuts inside, and uh, he he's one of these. I think I agree with what Tom says. I think 
we'll we'll get the we'll get the best out of him. Obviously, we've got we've got quite a few right backs already now at the club mm. or full backs. Uh, so he he will uh, he will get the best out of him playing in 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 midfield. But he's one of these players who can play any number of positions. That will that will uh, that will help us through the season because yeah. there'll be times in yeah. the game where we need to kind of twitch things around mid game. Yeah, and you, you can slot him in anywhere really in the midfield yeah. and in and in and at right back if needed or as a right wing back. So. Um, yeah, he, he he did look good on the ball. He, he played seventy minutes. Uh, it looked good, really good first half. He sort of did fade out a little bit second half, but uh, that's to be expected. And because he, he was out out on the wide areas, so sometimes you, you you don't see the ball for very often. But uh, and then the heat yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and he, he was uh, he was quite pleased with his with his debut. Um, I posted that on the um on the um the the uh, all things borough Instagram earlier. There's a few there's a few interviews I got today, so I posted that on there. So uh, he speaks quite. He's quite a quiet lad. Um, but he's uh, but he's he's good. And he, he again he he says he's saying all the right things. That's one thing I must say. All the players that um, that I've seen interviews for that I interviewed today, that all the number one aim for all of the players is get promoted. We want to get promoted. That's that. So yeah. that is definitely something that, including yeah. uh, the the ba- the Baker's uh, Baker's interviews earlier that I did. Um, he uh, that all of them is are, are pushing. That's what everyone's pushing in the same direction. They all want to get promoted, which I think is really really important. Is they're all pushing yeah. in the right. They've all got the same yeah. goal. I mean, naturally, right though, time. given how yeah. close, given what the next step was last season, it was one point of players. You just want to, it was one point. You could, if we found one point, maybe yeah. Weymouth at home, if we yeah. scored the penalty in the last minute, you know, we were there. It's that, yeah, I, yeah, it's I, I do, um, I do, I do agree with you. But what, like, what the other way, what, um, what could have happened? They could have said, oh, well, you know, we did a, we had a really good season last season, but we've had a few players who've left, you know, so maybe a Maybe we look look to consolidate and then push from there and see how we do see how we're doing at Christmas. That's all about you. There's none of that. It's all like we literally want to, we want to promote. Yeah. It. It's all really really we've positive, not... really really good. So we've uh, noticed yeah. that with some of the the, the, the we've noticed that with some of the player interviews that the club have been doing themselves, like, like when you see them at a training and stuff like that, and they've all like you said something. They're all saying the same thing. They're all yeah. batting off the same page. Yeah. Um. And and that and that is promotion. They've seen it now in the last two seasons. <clears throat> the, the the majority of the the the, cl- the players that have been at this club for the last couple of years, where yeah. we've come close to the last two seasons of, of that playoff spot, mm-hmm. and now that and, and that's what they want. That's yeah. that's what they're that's their aim now. Yeah, that's what it's, good, yeah. That's, it's, it's progress. That's what progress is. I mean, grad, the, yeah. the, the, gradually, gradually over over the seasons. That's what that's that's how progress. That's the definition of progress. But it, basically, yeah. It um. Is, but it yeah. Is. But he's a good lad. Played yeah. well, and um, and it is a a star, a star for the future. Yeah, he'll be a, he'll but, be a good he'll be a good a really good signing. Uh, even Spence Spencer's really chuffed a bit to get him through the, over the line, mm. uh, and also um, probably I think beating a lot of a lot of the clubs to his signature as well. And um, uh, we just hope hopefully we can uh, we can keep him beyond August. So, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I think well I think he's obviously got lofty ambitions as most players do. Uh, yeah. To get get that professional contract, so if I mean, like I said off off air, if he plays the way that, that we all believe he can play, then obviously by Christmas, New Year time, he'll be he'll be snapped up by someone bigger. Possibly, yeah. As long as they give us a million pounds uh, release clause, no <laughs> yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. Go, maybe, can, maybe, can, maybe, can, maybe a sound clause as well. <laughs> you going my one bigger. Then we'll we'll build up. We'll build a <laughs> new stand with it. The money beyond the, the more road end. Yeah, we'll just... yeah. right. Uh, so that leads us on to uh, the Friday signing, which was um, I think everybody expected this to happen. Maybe not as early as as it did happen, but um, it was a bit of a giveaway when they were before they before they announced it. And it was uh, Eden Pruti has uh, resigned for the season, um, which we're all happy with. We, I just, mean, we needed an it, extra centre back, and we got it. When it comes to Eden Pruti, you don't really need to analyse the player for. Nobody, everyone knows, everyone saw him, everyone, especially yeah. towards the end of last season, I was just so strong. I mean, I think the only thing you can say he did wrong in the second half of last season was getting sent off at Weymouth away, which yeah, obviously yeah. seemed suspended till September. But I think, I, I, I think, I, I mean, I thought it was obvious from the moment he was trialling, but, um, yeah, and it's just, yeah, I think it just shows some more ambition again because. That last season, I think, showed should have showed every National League club, OK, this is your guy, sign him, he's ready. And he's, and I think it shows sort of the ambition we have and we're matching the goals of the players that they want to be a part of this team and they want to get promoted to this team, as you said, with the mindset yeah. of yeah. And their goals. I think I think that signing, all three signings, to be fair, well, not even all three, all, every, sort of every signing we've made this summer, but I think those three specific, 
uh, Pruity and especially Chin specifically really match that ambition. And I think he just, yeah, I think he completes. I think he's a. I think he's got a start for me. In a in a whether it's back two or three, obviously that left side, left footed centre back. He came up against our probably our last good left footed centre back in Kevin Locke today, which I think would be. I mean, what a centre back pairing that would have been if you think about that. But yeah, but yeah, I'm, I think you can only really be pleased. You can only be pleased of your club signing Eden Brutti unless he takes the eight. Look, could have taken a centre back's number, but. So I'm a bit. I, I'm a bit. I think I'm a bit of a football nerd when it comes to that. I can't do. It's like when yeah. William Gallas wore the. Oh right, he could have had, he could he had, had number I think four, he didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think he has. Well, no, that's, 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 uh, CJ's. CJ's not really. So he's struggling a bit. For he has. He has. He has got the number eight, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's number eight. Yep. Yep. Maybe. maybe yeah, I know what you're saying. I know yeah. what you're saying, Tom. I know what you're saying, Tom. It's it's a bit of an odd number for a for a centre back to have, but. I just, I just don't. There's something wrong with it. It's just a number that that some. Yeah, maybe it's just a number that he particularly likes. He took the six before in his first loan with us, and then Guy Hollis ended up taking the six. So I don't know if it's his preference, but I suppose he just wanted the lowest number possible. Maybe. Yeah, we could have, he could have had, uh, you know, 66. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm not right. sure Mike would have been happy with that. <laughs> yeah, printing that every day. Or 666, even worse. Well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, I think we've. We... Just in this pro season, we've met, not only have we made um, some good um, re-signings of, of players because we've made a lot of players uh, come back. Not made them come back, but re-signed a lot of players from last season. And we've well, added, I think really, I think you can uh, look at it and say the only major loss is Jordan Northern Williams, and we've gone and signed Josh yeah. Casey. So I yeah. really don't see. I don't think we've left any holes from last season. But, I mean, Jordan's no. obviously a massive loss, but. Casey's a massive replacement. I mean, you yeah. ask any Woking fan or any anyone, what? I mean, uh, ask a Farmer fan like us. He's watching pre season. I don't. I don't think we've left a. I think we've only come out stronger uh, of last season. I don't think you can say that we've got we've, in any aspect we've turned yeah. into a worse side. Yeah. And there's a lot of there's a, there's been I've seen a lot of talk on social media from other football fans and other like, football sources, um, sort of really. Um, Saying good, positive things about us as a club and the, with the signings that we've made, and the ambition that we have, and where we want to be, and where they think we're we're going to be. So I think um, a lot of people have said that we are we're the dark we're, horses. We're going to be, yeah, we're the dark horses, we're, and we're going to be pushing for that playoff for those playoff spaces. So I think I think where, I don't where think we, we can put us out of um, the playoff semi places. I think top four, top five. I really think. That's extremely doable. I think if you start the season correctly with a squad like this, maybe yeah. maybe add to it. And keep. I think the main thing is keeping a squad like this. So I think our sort of history of seasons will show that, especially mid-season. But I, I don't see why, if if things start to start well, you can't talk about a title charge. No, 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 you're right. I don't see. Um, I, I mean, yeah, Simon. You meant to talk, mate. Yeah, so I mean, are you gonna are you gonna say podcast. anything? I'm oh, sorry, mate. I was uh, I was muted there for a minute for some reason. I don't know what. Yeah, remember, um, remember, yeah. remember, you're on YouTube. You're on YouTube. We can all <laughs> everyone can see you looking around somewhere else. Yeah, I was looking at the telly. I was watching the re the, the relays. I like, I do like the relays on the athletics. Very good. Bro, GB, another another bronze medal there. Happy days yeah. in the mix. The mix okay. four by four hundred. Anyway, uh, yeah, the um, uh, see, I'm just a, I'm just a sports nut, mate. I love it. Love it. Um, yeah, I think all as Steve, uh, Steve Baker said in, in the interview today, he all five signings that we've made have made the team uh, really strong. Um, mm. but yeah, Pr- Pruity, Pruity's going to be a, a really good asset because we, we I was looking at it thinking we need a we could do with a centre midfielder, we've got Chin, uh, we need we need a, a probably another centre back, we've got Pruity in, and we need when we just need another centre and probably another forward player, really. But everybody's looking at one of them. Even uh, I had a chat with Spencer prior to the match today, and even he admitted that we're a bit, probably a little bit light up front. Uh, we've only got really got um, Mason and um, and Miller yeah. up top. Um, and if Mason gets injured, we're going to be a bit in a bit of trouble. But uh, well, we've um, let well, we've let go of Colin Cullen again. Yeah, um, Cullen's yeah. got Cullen's gone out to um, Rainers Lane. Rainers Lane, yeah, yeah. Uh, step four. He'll, I mean, he'll do really well there. I, I like Connor as well. He's a really nice, uh, really good guy. Works hard. 
You know, he's got he's uh, got he's got a good head on his shoulders. Yeah. Um, but he's just uh, probably just maybe just lacking slightly. Um, also, Rain Rain is laying on one of them teams that one of the few teams out there, even at that level, that are paying the yeah. money. Yeah, yeah, they're a bit. Yeah, they are. And he, he actually they're got a bit plus for cash at the minute. So. He's got a better deal there than he would have got for us, and and he's going to be playing every week, so it's it's really it's an ideal for him. I it, think, it, I think you know, if he does well, he'll come back. He's too good to sit on our bench. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He needs to be at a club where he can play week in, week out. He can be the and that's what he wants. Guy, that's what he wants. Yeah, he'll, he'll do he'll do well at playing his name. It's probably a, yeah. I think personally it's a level two low for him. He should be playing step three, um, level at least. Um, but uh, he's only young, and he'll it'll play in as every young player needs to do. They need to play, be playing really, and it only it does it stands him in good yeah. stead. So yeah. you might find that if he if he does well and he come back, uh, he'll come back an even better player, and he might end up playing back at Farnborough, and he'll uh, he'll do um yeah no exactly yeah no you never know you never know you know yeah he obviously. Feels that he should be starting most weeks for us, and, and yeah. knows that he can't. And obviously, he's got he's gone to where that that can happen for him, and 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 that will happen for him. Yeah. So all the yeah. best to him, and, and we wish him we wish him all the best, and wish him all yeah. the luck. We know he's going to do really well in at step four. He's like you said, Simon. It's it's one level too low for him, really. Um, he should be playing at step three or step two. So good luck to him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Let's quickly. Uh, let's talk about the the game today. Then you obviously had a really good experience chatting to a load of players beforehand, uh, including some uh, former players. Yeah, uh, in I did. Locko and, yeah. and Bawley. But um, yeah, how was I the dragged, game in general? Well, I dragged my dragged myself out of bed before twelve o'clock, uh, yeah. and then uh, got down there. <laughs> yeah, I arrived, at, arrived at the game about um, about quarter past one, um, and then I said to said to Carl, uh, who was on the gate. Hello, Carl. By the way, um, that uh, I'm going to try and get a few player interviews, etc. So. Uh, Went round, went round to the players' entrance, but so they'd all, everyone sort of disappeared. They were just coming on the pitch. So I thought, you know what, I'll nip in there. So yeah, just, I just came out, sat, sat by the dugouts basically, and uh, um, yeah, I saw Kevin Locker. So I had a chat with Kevin. Uh, you can find all his interviews, by the way, on the Instagram page. Also, uh, we've uploaded and them on, on the TikTok, on the t- TikTok account as well. So um, so yeah, uh, they're all up, they're all, all up there for people to see. They're interesting interviews. You know, they're, they're not, I'm really good, you know, not, they're not, none of them are war and peace. You know, they're just sort of um, things that I thought that fans like myself would want to know really and it's nice nice to see Kevin back and he's he's doing really well at Maidenhead. They they might looking at their performance though I mean, it was one one today. Uh they were they did all right they did probably better than us first half and we did slightly better second half. I think probably draws a fair result. They hit the bar and what were they but honestly they the goalkeepers made a worldy because Mason's Mason's literally hit it from about five yards and the goalkeeper's going the wrong way and tipped it over the bar. Ridiculous save great goal. keeper. First half, yeah. Um, so yeah, he he he, uh, he saved them there really. But uh, yeah, I thought um, thought draw was a fair result really. We've we've matched them. Um, Kevin was saying that they they're going to look at as as the interview is in the interview. He said that, you know they're looking to maybe you know see how the season starts off, get to Christmas and see where they are and push on push on from there if needs be. And uh, hopefully they won't be looking over their shoulders like they were a lot last season. Um, they I mean they ended up be, uh, being okay and quite comfortably. But there was a time that in sort of. Uh, February, March, time where they were thinking to themselves, where well, they were looking at getting him, getting wrapped up in a relegation battle, but they did, uh, they did all right. And Kevin, Kevin's a really good centre back, as everybody knows, he's he's a quality player, great bloke as well. That was nice. And then I, was, I had a chat with uh, with Steve and Neil Baker, uh, the two assistant managers. They're really good, good people, really good football brains on them. And another the time of the day, and uh, that's a really that's a really good interview. For just a two and a half minutes odd, just chatting to them about that pre season and uh, and this that and the other. Um, after after Steve realised that it was a video, not not a picture, um, and yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I haven't put, I haven't put, I haven't put the outtake video up yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one's uh, consigned to the archives. That one forever. Um, I'll put that up later on tonight. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and then um, uh, I had a chat with Guy Hollis as well, the Fropedo. Uh, he's a good lad. He's looking. He was looking to get some get some minutes really today, which he got. He got ninety minutes today, so we'd be happy with that. I should have had ninety last week, but he got a cut on his ear, and they they they, they, mm, they, yeah. they, they couldn't stop the beef for some reason. I don't know why. It didn't. It was nothing serious, but they just thought you know precaution would take him off. But he got ninety in today. He looked a bit looked. He looked like he he was he he would need it actually. He made it. He made a bit of a mistake for one of their um for their shot that hit the bar. But um, they sort of the got a, ball took a funny bounce. A bit unlike unlike Hollis, is normally solid as a rock. But uh, yeah, he uh, but he, after after that after that area, he, he looked pretty solid actually. To be fair to you, I think he'll be pretty pleased with his performance. Um. And uh, yes, that was all beforehand. And then after the game, I had a chat with um, uh, with uh, with Joe Haig, who you probably you may have noticed not been on the team sheet recently. He's just got a little, he's got a little foot injury, 
Uh, but he's fine. Uh, he hopefully, I, I hope to Spencer. I was hoping he'd be back for next week, but Joe's a little bit, mm, maybe a week after. Mm. So he possibly. Do you think you might find him on the bench, maybe for sat for Saturday's game against? Might, yeah, he might. Yeah, he might. Yeah, it might well be. Which yeah, is a shame because yeah. we actually I was saying this to a couple of a couple of the the other guy, uh, the other people around the ground today. I was chatting to, and um, there we don't look, we don't look a, as big a threat as a team, and we, we, when Hague isn't playing. So um, we could do with him really, but uh, yeah, you know it is what it is. You can't just you can't force these things sometimes. So I think you'll find. No, Jake, no. I think you'll find uh, the Hague the Hague yeah, Meister will be um, will be on the will be on the bench for the for the Chippenham game. Yeah, I mean as a, as a, as a, as the player, he'll know he'll know with himself how how fit he is and how ready he is to come back. So yeah, hopefully, yeah. like in a week's time, he'll be he'll be raring raring yeah. to go. It might, it might just mean that uh, instead of uh, with Hague being on the bench, with Ricky, will, Ricky will start and he'll be the driving force yeah. through the midfield. Um, whereas if Hague, Hague is fit, Ricky will probably find himself on the bench. Uh, but yeah, so they'll swap those two around. Ricky, or Ricky will probably start. I mean, Ricky played ninety again today, and he looks, uh, he looks really, he's been really strong in preseason. I think it's the second time he's played ninety minutes uh, this season, so he's looking good, looking fit, looking strong. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick, Ricky always looks strong, no matter when he when he plays, does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He always he's, looks he's, good. Yeah, he's meant to know. You never know. He's 36, 37, Would you? So uh, yeah, you know, it's amazing. But um, and then the last, last, uh, lastly, not, not means least, I've got to uh, have a quick chat with uh, Richard Chin, the new signing. And uh, yeah, he's a nice lad, quiet, quite quiet, keeps himself to himself at the moment. Anyway, till he comes out of his shell. But he just uh, he just wants to get knuckle down, play football, um, and do do the best he can for the team. And he always, he said to me, he's he's looking to get get the to get the club promoted. So again, he's another one who's who's only just come in the door, and they're already already looking to say right. This is it's obvious, obviously what. I think I'll give, give credit to Spencer for this. Is obviously something that he's uh, pushing with the lads to say, "Listen, we want to get promoted this season." And yeah, that's yeah, what I mean, I think some of these players, like <laughs> the, the, the likes of Pruti and um, uh, Chin, who the, the club have said, like even Spencer has said, like in in the um, the tweets and that, they're they're, they're looking to, to get back into the EFL at some point in their career, and using this, using us us as a club as a sort of a platform or, or a stepping stone. Yeah, would you would you think that would you guys think that if 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 uh, we got that promotion to the national league, would these kind of play would these players stay and play another season in the national league, or would they look for that extra step? Well, I think it's just natural if they want to. If it's a, it's another progression, it'll be somewhere they're comfortable. It will save them from having to maybe earn their keep at a certain club, maybe adjust to a new system. They'll they'll be completely comfortable, but they still get to be tried and tested at a not higher level and a new level. They'll probably, I mean, financially, they'll probably, it's a big, big step financially for the club they go in that league. They'll probably feel that effect. I can't, I can't yeah. see why, unless they had an absolutely like, like season that would take them up to like, the League Two or League One, maybe like the Macaulay Langstaff level League Two season up to the Championship sort of thing. I, I can't see why not. It'd have to be something properly, maybe extraordinary or a very nice offer. It's, I mean, yeah. but I can't see why. If we were promoted of this team, why this team would get significantly weaker? Yeah, no, exactly, no, exactly. Yeah, I, th- I think he, I, I sort of agree with you, but unfortunately, what you had tend to have is if you have a really, really good season, um, and you only got you got a lot of players who are on one year contracts, you tend to lose them because uh, they club, yeah. other clubs yeah. with bigger budgets come along and nick them. So, yeah. um, but that happens, also... that, it happens if you don't get, if you don't have such a good season. Sometimes you get even no. lose them. So, like we did like yeah, that, yeah. like with Pavey last season. Yeah, and also don't forget they've all got um, every player has got uh, a manager's best friend, which is uh, the agent. <laughs> yeah, which yeah. Uh, they're, they're always always pushing pushing their uh, their their star signing yeah. to uh, go yeah. uh, further and further, more money. So uh, yeah, yeah. Some, yeah exactly. some of these some of these players are really badly advised, if you ask me. Um, and yeah. there's, a, there's a particular person who uh, is who's uh, significant by his absence at Farnborough uh, at the moment. Who's I think he's got one of those sorts of people. On. Who are, uh, it would help, help it would him. it would seem it would seem that way yeah but uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're not going to uh, talk about about no. players that aren't at the club no best of luck best of luck to him but uh, yeah that, I don't think uh, he'll be bad but I think, I think over the year over the last couple of seasons I think he's been badly advised but he's not the only one mm. quite a few around no. Who are, who are no. Like that, no but there we are it is what it is but anyway um, yeah so before we before we sort of wrap it up um, overall. The game. Could you see when you when you were watching Simon? Could you see like um, this team? Because obviously they're a national league club, um, Maidenhead. So would you see us this team out of place in the in the national league? 
as they are uh, now. Yeah, because um, I think we, I think it'd be a real struggle, but mainly because physicality is it, it, a factor. We, I think we struggle a little bit because we, we, I mean, Maiden, Maidenhead are full of the lads who are over six foot tall. They're all big. Mm-hmm. I mean, we obviously we Locko being one of them. He's about six foot three, isn't it? At least six foot three, six four. Um, mm-hmm. You know, and they're all they're all big, big physical specimens. All of these people. Well, I think we're we're a team. We've got a lot of a, a smaller players, more sort of technical type players. Um, mm. For our, I mean, so for our level, yeah, well, I think if we if we were going to hold our own in the national league, for example, we'd have to get some bigger physical players in. I think that mm. might that'd be a struggle, for, or play a, a a different type of football to everybody a different else. Different type of football, yeah. Teams, you know, yeah. Well, um, it depends if we are going to be good at playing the football we plan to play this season. If we went to the national league, doesn't it? Yeah. If, yeah. if yeah. it's not, then and then we're just gonna. If it's not going to work, we'll just get physically outclassed and probably counter attacked. But yeah. I think, but I think this season is going to be some of the best football we will see at Chaywood Road for what we would have seen. I think even last, time. even last, even last season, we we there were games that we we played like against like the the Yeovils, the Torquays, and the Maidstones, who who's still in our league, Maidstone and Torquay. But uh, the, you know, we we more than held our own against them. Where we again a game that we should have won that we we, we yeah. narrowly drew. Um, so I think, and and we're we're a stronger team this this season. So I think, and we've had in pre season, we've although it's fair enough, Sutton United brought a, brought a in a load of trialists and, and youngsters, but we more than held. I don't know. That was their, well, That was one of their strongest elevens. So I think that's been a bit, a bit of a misconception. Sutton, well, Sutton were lined up how I imagine they'd quite strongly line up for the season. Yeah, and we were. No, we, like said, we, we more than we more than matched them. We, and we did really well winning that game. And Yeovil, and then we lost against Yeovil. But I, I think from what I've heard, we did. We played, yeah, quite, we should, played should pretty, quite well. I mean, I've, I've watched all, all of the home friendlies. I've been to all of them this season. And uh, the only game where we probably didn't play very well was Hartley Whitney. Whitney. That game, yeah, probably, probably yeah. should have lost. But that um, was probably even probably then, a mentality thing, though. Yeah, even then we scored three goals. Um, yeah, it was a three-three draw, but it was an entertaining game. We we did look quite good going forward. We probably should have scored more. Um, than we did, um, but uh, you know, but the, the overall game was um, was a good was a good workout for us. We were one nil up, and we we got where there was a bad bad refereeing decision that turned that one really. Mm, um, yeah. you know, but two two good finishes from Yeovil to be fair to them, and they're they're a, they're a class outfit. Oh um, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and 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 I think they're probably even stronger than they were last season as well. They brought in brought in a couple of players from uh, from Torquay, uh, McGavin and um, and Jarvis. Um, they lost a few of the other end as well, but they they, they have strength and they're a good side. Um, so that I think they'll, they'll do I'll do okay. But reason the reason I am hopping back to uh, Maidenhead was because um the I think I think Maidenhead are gonna it's gonna be a struggle for Maidenhead this season in the National League. That's why I said we might struggle. Because we were playing against Maidenhead for for me or a team and I'm not the only one who thought this. I was I've sat around quite a few people today and thought the same. We all we all agreed really that we thought Maidenhead would struggle. So I think Maidenhead are gonna be in the lower end of that division this season. And that does say there's a big, big golfing class. I mean, uh, there's, mm. there's, there, are, there are, there are definitely going to be at least, I would say, at least ten or twelve teams better than Maidenhead in that league this season. I mean, if when is there not? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they struggled yeah. last season. I think, I think if they, if they finish the same place they were last season, I think they were, they were eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth last season. I think if they get, if they finish there, I think they'll be more than happy. Then they yeah. I think they just need to stay up, and then they've recently been given that Max Kilman money, the four million pounds, which is. Absolutely mm-hmm. yeah. fucking life changing. That is when they can start. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, build a stability yeah. that league and start to grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I mean, that's uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, they. Well, I didn't forget about that. I keep confusing them with Maidstone. I keep doing it. Um, but um, <laughs> yeah. they. Yeah, I forgot it was made. It's made in head. Yeah, which is massive money, really. Fantastic. So um, hopefully they'll, they'll invest that wisely, and they can maybe look at it through through the, through the course of the season. Uh, and then it might might mean that they they can sort of progress the club, but. I think um, ground ground uh, ground development time for them. I think because I think they they're struggling. Yeah, uh, after the fire a few seasons ago. Yeah, they need they need to kind of look at the ground and think maybe they so the money might get spent that way off the field yeah, off the yeah. field rather than on it. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, having said all that, it's not certainly not doom and gloom for Borough. I think we'll do we'll, we'll do well. And if 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 heaven forbid we did get promoted, then uh, I'm sure the club would, would try and put us in a position where we kind of of course yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'd stay up. That, yeah, that's the um, the ambition. That's the ambition of the club now. It's not like we were a few years ago where we go up and we just you know literally forfeit a season just to make sure we didn't go bankrupt. Whereas this season, yeah. we've definitely got ambition 
there's definitely there's a there's a there is an, an ambition with the club. So if any anybody listening to to this episode that you know don't 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 be fooled thinking oh we're going into the season a little bit sort of uh, you know oh well we'll see how we we'll see how we go we might hold our own that's what there's 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 an ambition this season to get promoted and do better than we did last season and I think well, I think we yeah. we over we overachieved a bit last season and I think we we're, we're looking to do the same this season again you know but like, it's like yeah, Steve yeah. said in the interview there's 24 teams who also want to do the same thing so but there's, yeah, there's certainly, no, for me there's definitely there's definitely at least three teams in the division I could I could name the top of my head. Um, that when we do our position position episode, I'll just save that for that. Um, that are going to struggle this season. There's at least three, in my view. Um, everybody else, everybody else is is looking to push on. No, right. good. Right. Well, I think on that, um, I think we'll end it there. Uh, well done today, Simon. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself doing doing that with the chatting to all the players, and um, well done for getting all the the um, interviews on video. Yeah, I expect the. Uh, the- Bonus money in the post, yeah. Bonus slap, you say, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, and uh, Tom, thanks for coming in tonight. Um, of course. Maybe you're not too tired after work. I know you've had a long shift. Oh, I am tired, but we go again <laughs> tomorrow. Pet, petting yeah. and feeding the animals. Don't no, call that work, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning up dog poo, more like. Yeah, all cat poo. <laughs> Well, I, I, have, I have told you to bring one of those uh, those doggy bags with you wherever you go, Tom. But uh, you know, you just don't learn, do you? Just can't keep it in sometimes. No, no, it is. <laughs> it, 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 the excitement overtakes your body. You just lose all lose all control of your bodily functions. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like he was like that when I first met Spencer. To be fair, for me, yeah. <laughs> too excited. You were when the first time you met Spencer. I, start, I, start, I thought start. the only shit was coming out your mouth. <laughs> hey, listen. That's that's why I got that dog breath. That's what it's called, dog breath. Um, right. So, no, I, uh, I, I'm more sort of starstruck. You know, just sort of looking, looking, in, looking, looking in deeply into his eyes, thinking this is this is my this is my uh, this is my uh, yeah. All right. The, the okay. number one man. Yeah. The, the right. Number one man. <laughs> okay, guys. That leads me to say that this episode was brought is proudly sponsored by Chartec Consulting. Chartec takes your business visions and turns them into innovative reality. For more information, visit chartecconsulting.co.uk. And I've said that, that's it. That leaves me to say good night. Um, good night, lads. Have a good one. Good night, mate. Have a good one. Thanks for listening, guys. Yeah, looking forward to yeah, it. Thanks for Season listening. Starts Sunday, Saturday thanks. evening. Can't wait. Yeah, thanks for uh, listening. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to um, hit that subscribe button uh, when you watch us. And yeah, have a good night and we will see you all very, very shortly.